What's up, everybody? This is your boy from the Charm City. Charm City Gamer here, back with more Jumpstart. Third Great Adventure Mystery Mountain. It's episode 24. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. It's been a while since I've done this series, and I'll be I'll level with you guys and be honest. This wasn't actually my next choice of a uh, video episode, but my Xbox One. Um, uh, the program I used to stream my Xbox One games is being an absolute douche, so I figured. Why not update this series instead so I can at least get something on the channel because I haven't actually put anything up on the channel in a couple days. But I just want to uh, get this question out there to you guys. I mean, I have that one video of WB2K17, the Paul Heyman guy video, that has over 1,800 views. But I want to ask you guys, like, do you guys, like, are you looking for specific um, gameplay? Like, what exactly are you guys looking for so I can get more videos like that? Because it seems like the other gameplay videos, I only get, like, 20 to 50 views on them, so just let me know what exactly you guys are looking for, and I'll see if I can tailor my style to that. Anyways, let's hear what the teacher has to say, and we'll pick our next mission. Let's take a look at that Transquizzer and select another mission. We've already completed... Up. No one knows what Abe Lincoln's voice sounded like. George Washington's voice will never be heard again. And the shot heard round the world? It echoes no more. Not entirely true. It may have been so in 1996, but it won't be that calm. And YouTube has that. My to you is has this. video footage of what was Bobby the first Thompson's home, famous home run. The first record had the coolest heavy metal guitar riff I've ever heard. That baby was singing. <laughs> oh, I you wish. think not, Polly. Thomas Edison recorded the first sounds ever. It was Mary Had a Little Lamb. One of the sweetest lyrics ever penned. Ah, been there, done yeah, 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 that. Shut up. Pick a mission we haven't completed. Shut up. Pick a mission in just a sec, people. All right, now let's choose the mission, shall we? All right, we still got places to go and robots to rescue. Click on any of the buttons near the bottom of the transquizzer. Let's see this one. This one, uh, this one, or this one. I'm going to pick the uh, paper one. So let's go for it. It took humans most of their history to learn the simple art of making paper. Hmm. It's so simple, that? in fact, that wasps were making paper millions of years before humans even appeared. Wasps, wasps create pulp for Holy wood crap. and use it to create paper nests. Hmm. What was go the figure. world's first man-made paper used for? I bet the world's first paper was used to make paper airplanes. No, no, that's not it. Paper poly dolls. No, no, that's not it. Oh, I've got it. The world's first paper was used for making spitballs. Wait, it's all those things. That's it. Oh, my oh, goodness. Oh, Polly, you are right. And we teachers have been plagued ever since. Disgusting. Polly thinks paper was invented for spitballs, and paper airplanes, and dolls. <laughs> That's wishful thinking on her part. She bothers everyone in her class with spitballs, and she wonders why she has no friends. Let's fix this one real quick. Click on the yeah, inventory uh, button to Yeah, if you're going to shoot spitballs, everybody, of course you're going to have no friends. It doesn't take a genius brain power to figure that out. Sheesh. Spitly, you ruin everything, <laughs> but this time you won't succeed. I've got Noshi Origami, the robot who folds paper into shapes. To get Noshi, you'll first have to find <laughs> Noshi Origami. Things. Masking tape, a firecracker, a tea bag, and an abacus. Abacus? You mean the that weird ass Noshi math thingy? Origami. He's here on an exchange program from Japan. He can fold paper into all sorts of cool shapes. Now Polly's gone and shaped him to her evil purposes. We better find those clues. Shh. Yeah, really. I'm try to sense this area out for clues. Okay, all sensors indicate that Polly hid a mission clue in the professor's virtual collection. That's in the art gallery. Jesus Christ, not there, Botley, any place but the virtual collection. God freaking damn it. I hate the virtual collection. Hang on a sec, guys. I gotta pump up the volume, so hold on. Okay, now we're rocking and rolling. Let's move. You must like art. Remember, click on the machine to look through the virtual collection, or click on the painting gallery to create your own masterpiece. 
Yeah, yeah, but we've been to the steel before. Just make sure you leave everything the way you find it. Not like Polly, always creating a mess. I definitely sense that Polly has hidden one of the mission clues in the virtual collection. We should investigate. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know what to do. Just a minute. Alright, boys. Let's rock and roll. Good work, Snotly. Now you just have to figure out which of Dad is going to hit the mission clue in. You need a clue. You might as well just give up right now, Rotley. After all, I'm mopping up the floor with you. Polly's the one who's all washed up. <laughs> I don't know what she's talking about. We have a fine example of a floor decoration made from pieces of tile. Polly hid the mission. Yeah, yeah. Floor. floor decoration, huh? Combine small pieces of colored glass into in this religious painting. Shiva is one. Oh, that's not it. Portrait dining network. Where the hell is this on a bench? This vase from ancient Greece is decorated with figures that tell a story. Just like. Nope. Nope. It's gotta be here somewhere. This beautiful work showing musicians was painted. This is one of the earliest paintings ever found. It was drawn on a cave thousands and... This artist grew up studying the river valley where he grew up. This landscape includes such oddities as melting watches. But who said landscapes have to show nature as it really is? Hmm, that's not it. This landscape painting of a stormy sea. That's not it either. This is a still life of a plate of fish. Nothing strange there. But isn't it odd how the plate seems to float in the air? This is a Dutch still life. 300 years ago, the somewhere. painters in Holland perfected the art of realistically painting <sighs> flowers. This is getting annoying. Very annoying. What the hell is that? Aha. This is an example of a typical American quilt. Quilts were often made by groups of women in quilting bees. I said it. This mosaic of Alexander the Great was made by gluing pieces of tile on. Booyah! Mosaics are an ancient form of painting with pieces of tile. Found it. Took in me this a little bit, but I found it. Pieces of colored tile were glued together uh -huh. in the shape yeah, yeah, of yeah. Alexander Ooh, the God. Great. Who is in the man? Me! Okay, since you're so smart, let's see you solve this. You didn't think I was going to let you off that easily, did you? Yes, Polly. Actually, I think you did. There she goes again. You've played this puzzle before, so you should have no trouble this time around. Polly put some of her uh, father's best pieces from ancient bitch. Greece into this puzzle. When you put it together, you'll see works of art thousands of years old. Hmm. This one might be a little tricky, guys. I think I have a plan. Look at that. And we gotta get this one over to there, somehow. Yeah, that one's fine. Oh, this is tricky. This is bloody tricky. Don't know what to do. Yeah, that one actually matches right there. Bam. Bam. I think. I don't know. Is it supposed to look like that? How the shock would I know? I'm really just going on instinct here. I really have no clue what the fuck I'm doing right now. <laughs> I really have no blessed idea of what I'm doing. But I think that's obvious, guys. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nah, that's fine. This one you flip it over. Do that one. Boom. And we swap this one for this one, I guess. Yeah. That one's fine. Hmm, there's something wrong here. Alright, I know a thing. Gotta put this one. Okay, that one's almost perfect. 
one more peak and you get straight. Hmm. It's almost perfect. <laughs> I really don't know what the hell to do. Come on. There's got to be something I'm missing. What am I going wrong? Maybe we swap these two. I don't know. That was right. Hmm. I really don't know here. Mosaic tiles. Asian Race Sports Olympics. What am I missing here? Somebody tell me what I'm missing. Hang on. I think I know the problem is. No, no, that was right. That one's right. I think. Yeah, you know what? Hold on. I gotta do this again. I cannot. I definitely sense that Polly again. has hidden one of the mission clues in the virtual collection. We should investigate. Yeah, great. Okay, guys, let's give us another whirl. Good work, Snotly. Now you just have to figure out which of Daddy's great works I hid the mission clue in. We need a clue. Here's helping I can You know, the thing I like about it. clues is that they are small pieces of information that fit together to spell out what you're looking for. The thing I like about Polly's clue is that it accurately describes the art of stained glass. Go to religious art and I'll show you what I mean. Art of stained glass, huh? Okay. Easy enough. I know exactly where that is, so it won't be that hard to track it down. This mosaic of Alexander, this is an example of a typical American quilt. This piece of decorated pottery is called porcelain. Porcelain was it. first this mosaic of Alexander. I just had it. No, oh, it's symbolic art. Combine small pieces there of colored go. glass into a design and you get a stained glass. That's it. A stained glass window like this one never looks quite the same. As sunlight changes from moment to moment and day to day, the intensity and tone of the little panes of colored glass constantly vary. Like this window, stained glass is often used to decorate churches. No, 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 no. I interrupt this regularly scheduled program to bring you this. Oh, dang it. I can't believe her. Just when you think you've finished a mission, she throws another obstacle at us. No problem. You can figure this one out. Yeah, For this idea. puzzle, you'll need to create compound words. A compound word is one word made by joining together two other words. Yeah, this is much easier than the other one. God damn, that other one was a bitch. Alright, let's see. Hmm. <laughs> well, we know this one. I'm still gonna go over here. Underwear, you know. Think about it. Underwear, sunrise. No, that's not it. Oh, foot. Okay. Switch to these two. Channel foot, obviously. Tooth, obviously, I want tooth's egg. Switch this. Bing bing. Hmm. <sighs> this one's tricky. This one is a little tricky. Myself, obviously, that's next. That one obviously goes here.
airplane, so you don't put that anywhere. Mm -hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. I'm trying to think. Oh, download. Okay. Okay, we're almost there. I think. I don't know if you don't freaking know. <laughs> Oh, there we go. You gotta swap that. Okay, no book, obviously. Mailbox. Can you tell to... Uh, we can't tell fix for tooth here. Oh, my stuff. Okay. Uh, or, okay, we're almost there. Okay, Dragonfly, we, we got this. We just gotta switch a few things here. Just gotta switch a few things. And got it. Yeah. Take that, Polly, you bitch. Now grab the clue, and we're out of here. Damn, Skippy, we're out of here. Fantastic. Now put it in your inventory. Then on to the next challenge. Hey, Amen. We are out of this place. Okay, there aren't any mission clues on this floor. Let's go searching on another floor. Yeah, I'm in Charlie, people. Sure, there aren't any mission clues here, but just because my favorite. It's my favorite thing to hear Botley tease you before you do the music hall. I'm going in. Of course the door is locked again. We'll have to get Botoven to give us a hand with the password. No need to shout, Botley. I'm, I'm here, here and ready and to help, help if you, you need, need it. it. He's obviously a dish. You know, like a satellite, satellite dish. dish. <laughs> Man, you're really moving. A plate. Plate, what? What the hell? I, I don't know. Spoon. Knife. Spoon! Man, you're really moving! Knife! Great job! You're better at this than I am! Yes, yes I know. A plate! Uh, shit, I don't know. Okay, that that one I don't know what the hell the spelling is. Wait, is, is it literally spelling out a plate? I think it is. Oh, wait, no, it's not. I don't know, I'm just spelling it randomly. I really don't know. It seems you've created something. Uh, mission clues uh, here. Back in there. Well, the door's locked again, and there's a new password. I hate to bother him, but. Hey! Beethoven! Haha. <laughs> No need to shout, Bartley. I'm yeah, here yeah, and yeah, ready yeah. to help if you need it. When you tape something. Uh, record. Which is what I'm doing right now. <laughs> record. Man, you're really moving. Why, thank you. Something you watch. Movie. That'd be movies, my friends. Movie! Great job! You're better at this than I am! Yes, yes, I know. Things you play! Games, obviously. Games! Terrific. Like what we're doing right now. <laughs> A screen! Oh, my god. Why did they make this last one always hard? Monitor? No, it's not on the floors. On the floors. Oh, Jeebus. Screen. 
I don't know. Okay. Now Third time to try. Looks like the door is locked again. We'll have to figure out the password to open it. Third time to try, people. Hey, Beethoven! Third time be the charm. Please, I'm trying to finish the symphony. But I'll be here if you need help. I know I'm probably looking at a fool for not being able to get the last two, but hey, give me a prick. To acquire knowledge. Hmm? Oh, learn, obviously. But like I said, guys, I'm not I'm not the best with unscrambling words, so give me a break. Learn! You've got a real talent for this. Why thank you. Look for search. <laughs> Searchy search. Search. Hey, way to go! Shh. Ah, quiet. This last one I know, it's busy. So, it's easy enough to figure out. Quiet! Great job! You're better at this than I am! Again, I thank you. Busy! Well, you got all the words. Now to- Yes, I already know the word. It's library. Finger. The password is library. We're in. Baby. We are in. It took three tries. But we're in. Oh yeah. The door is open. And the, and the crowd, crowd goes wild. Ah! <laughs> Palio, 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 Palio. We're, we're ready. ready. <laughs> All right, Botchley. Time to sing for your supper. <laughs> <laughs> Just as I was hoping she'd say. Like it was meant to be heard. <laughs> I was hoping she'd say that. I was seriously hoping she'd say that. <laughs> She's like, all right, Botchley, time to sing for your supper. <laughs> the music Holy is all shot. a mix. All right, let's see. It's, uh, the song that it's using is, uh, Clementine, uh, you know, Sweet Clementine or whatever the hell the name is. Oh, my darling Clementine, she is lost and gone forever. Oh, my darling Clementine. <laughs> Wasn't right. Try again. Ah, what is in here? Should do it. Yeah, let's do the full tune. I think I got it right though. Here we go. Oh my darling Clementine, 
<laughs> I'm gonna have that song in my head now. No, I, I think I had the mm, last two, right? That's pretty interesting, but something's just not right. Okay, I had the last two, right? It was just these two that were mixed up, I bet. tricky one. I got it, I so got it. I got it, I got it. I freaking got it! I know I got it. Whoa, kind of avant garde, but I think Polly had what? something more traditional in mind. How do you arrange the chips in a different order? <laughs> I'm getting over it. Okay, I think it's this one has to go third, believe it or not. You just thought I was I thought that was the third. I thought that was near the bottom. Okay, this has got to be it. This has to be it. I am out of freaking ideas, but this isn't it. This has got to be freaking it right here. Beautiful job. Finally, fuck, that was hard. Pieces are very tricky in that one. This lilting, playful song tells the story of a beautiful miner's daughter named Clementine. It's a miner's daughter? That's interesting. Ah, oh, it brings tears to my eyes. Put the invention points in your inventory before tears make me all rusty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's grab it and go. No mission clues here. Let's try another floor. And type people. All right, guys. This is a rather long episode already. It's already gone into 27 minutes, but I'm gonna at least get a second mission clue before we end this thing. Here we go.
quiet now. I'm gonna sense out this area. It's definitely be one of our longer episodes. Great. I've got a strong reading in the shrinking machine room. The reason why it's gonna be so long is because it took so dang long to figure out the clues to get into the damn music room. Look, we're at the shrink matic again. So, That's correct. do you want to know about something? There is a mission clue hidden inside one of the specimens, Dotley, and it's <laughs> your mission to figure out which one. So, here's your Easier hint. Said than done. This animal uses echoes to find its way in the dark. I think that Egbert would find that useful because he's in the dark on so many things. <laughs> in the dark? Oh, by that you mean I am unaware of certain things. I'm still trying to grasp this human concept called humor. Nah. Alright, and probably the bat, right? Bat. Yep. Bats are flying mammals that only come out at night. Yep, I know exactly which one it is. Right Do you there. think that's the We can't run this thing without more power. It's time to take a trip to the generator. I'm picking up- Son of a biscuit, we're gonna charge up. Fine, let's roll. Charge city time. Whoa! Watch it there, Motley. Time to juice up, baby. I guess again, this is probably a longer episode than usual, but you time know. to power up. Pick the right batteries and plug them in. These things happen, but hey, it'll be worth it. It'll be a long episode, but it'll be worth it because it's rather action-packed, in my opinion. So I'm sure you guys will like it. No, it's eleven times eleven. 10 times 11? I don't know. There we go. 9 times 8, 72. I hate math. I hate math. I fucking hate it. I hate math for this reason. There. Terrific. One ring down. Now on to ring number two. Yeah, well, the, my disdain of math still persists. Because I fucking hate it. <laughs> I hate it so much, and math hates me. Okay, this was 8 times 7. 7 times 6 is 42. 12 times 11 is 132. That much I do know. 9 times 9 is 81. 11 times 6 is 66. Don't you fucking dare run out of me! Boom! Fantastic! You finished the second ring. Now hold on tight, because we're about to get a mega power surge. Power surge time, baby. Surge City! We haven't had a, uh, save good this long cool? since probably the second episode. some jolt. We've got 100% energy now, so let's go save the world. Okay, there Indeed, let's rock. Okay. General. Now we're back at shrink -o -matic. I'm here. Choose carefully. We can't shrink me. I remember what the hint was. It was the thing with the, uh. I know what the hint was. I don't even need it. Do you think. Happy trails. trails. Oh, oh my! <laughs> back here again. Alright, let's Besides bust through the Bust time. Time to bust through some stuff. Time to play a little robot ping pong with Batley here. Robot ping pong away! <laughs> Creates a pathway right to where we need to be. Bust through some more. We don't even need that pathway. There you go. That's another way to get to the stuff. Bang 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 Save the uh, 12 for my getting received for episode 25. That seems like a fair enough trade, don't you? I believe so. I think our 
best is like 4,000. So I'll probably play a bunch of games just to ensure we get 5,000 or more. We'll see. All depends on my mood because I want to have a new best high score for the uh, for Bounty and all them. Now I know how a pinball feels. Indeed, my friend. I think my best is like 4,000. I'll have to go back to the older episodes and check. Because I want to uh, I want to break my past high score for a uh, mission. Just to, you know, give me a little bit of self-gratification. Because Lord knows I love self-gratification. <laughs> I'm a very competitive, very... I guess you could say in terms of scores for games like this, I guess, I guess you could call me greedy. I really don't know at this point. <laughs> okay, we're almost there. If you could just hit the dam. Thing. Hit it, Botley, hit it! Not there. Not there, man! We want you to hit the big orange thing in the middle. And he totally misses it. I had his own shot. Now you're gonna make me go through it like this again? Son of a bitch! There's that. Okay, let's see if we can hit that thing finally. Nope, not quite. Not quite there yet. Getting there, though. Getting there. Just a little more. And it shoots him out the other way. Damn. That's right, directing toward me. <laughs> and not anywhere near where we need him to go to. Gosh darn. Stupid copter thing or whatever the hell that is. That prevented us from hitting our target. It prevented our target acquisition. Whoa! Oh, quit your whining, Bradley. It ain't that bad. It's not that bad, Bradley. So stop your whining, son. I can just launch you in the right direction, we can get out of here. The game does not want me to hit in the direction we need to go. There we go. Now we got it. We can just direct you toward the big orange thing as it's over. I'll let him hit the bottom there. We're almost there. On straight to it. And he missed. Now we got it. Boom! We got some dynamite! That's it! Take the clue and put it in your inventory. Then, on to complete this mission. I dare say this episode has been dynamite. <laughs> oh, that was too good to pass up. I think we should go to another floor. There are no mission clues here. Yeah, we'll get the final two mission clues in our next episode, and save our next robot then as well. I know it'll probably be a long episode, but hey, you guys should be used to that by now. But anyways, till next time, it's your boyfriend from Charm City. Charm City, I'm signing out. Remember to like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to support me on the channel. And as always, keep it charming.